expectations. Well, massively, and as you quite rightly mentioned, at the start of the season, you'd never put these two play sides in terms of just outside the playoffs and Barnet in the playoffs. That, that turnaround that Dean Brennan has shown this season with good recruitment and players hitting form like Nicky Kabamba has been so important for their sustainability of keeping in those playoffs and for Wilds. And of course, his long throw-ins led to a winner in the playoff semi-final for Grimsby last season and the winner in the final. Gets unbelievable distance on these throws. That one's causing problems as well. And the early attempt from Dan Powell just didn't really get hold of it, did he? Yeah, he didn't, did he? It just kind of came to him there nicely. I think he's been a little bit too conservative with the strike. I think he's just more looking for contact, but then maybe just misjudged the flight slightly. Cabamba was almost there to get that little flick on it to maybe... Andrews looking to make something of that. Ola Moller in support as well and hits it on the turn! Good effort. Kanu. Seems to get pushed out of play there. Will it be De Havilland or Gorman here? It's whipped in by Gorman. Maybe De Havilland would have been the favourite for that one. Just purely on the basis when they've got a left footer on that side, it goes towards goal with the wind blowing towards Sam Howes. Powell. Gorman. Shots on. Let's track that one well wide. Cook. Andrews. Alamola will look to make something of this. This touch was a little bit heavy. Clayton looking to return it to Olamola. And then there's a suggestion of handball from the Stone supporters behind the goal. Simper. A bad effort, and it was dipping all the time, and off the bar it came. Well, the debutant there with a fantastic shot. Clayton. No doubt Stuart Maynard will have worked a lot on defending these long throw-ins on the training pitch when, I'll say a lot, they only train two nights a week, don't they? Not easy. This is a chance as well. It's one that's been wasted. Goalkeeper got something on it and it just about stayed out. It's a really good ball in there. Pritchard trying to still get it into the six yard box. Gorman with another ball into the area and the keeper claims that one confidently. Fernandez, 21 years old. Let's see what he can do. Here's Kabamba. Kanu to his right. Still Nicky Kabamba. He's worked the room for the shot brilliantly. What a great season he's having. His 19th league goal of the campaign. It is the perfect start to the second half for the Bees. 1-0 they lead at Grosvenor Vale. Be so frustrated with his side start in this second half, but he's still got a lot to do. Shrugs off the challenge, and that little touch inside creates the angle for him to go across the goalkeeper. Just bars his Barker out the way. He uses his strength. But it's just a touch here. That one there, just to cut inside nicely and then hit across it. So many times you go to the right hand side of the goal, he decides to go to the left hand side. Massive goal at the start of this second half. They began today eight points above Wheelstone. And we're just outside the playoff places. We could increase that gap to 11 points. Gorman with the ball in. Good ball, brings Powell into the game. Players arriving in the box, and it's still with Powell. Oh, great feet! And Pritchard looked to try and place one. Kanu, Kabamba to his left. Oh, that's a lovely ball, Kabamba! Now the flag's up. Good finish. 
Oh, and the flag was up. Oh, what's a good finish from him there. On a Mola. Just a bit of pressure here from the Stones. Simpers ball over. De Havilland certainly placed it with purpose, placed with intent. Sam Howes on guard. It is De Havilland, and he forced the save from House, who got down quickly. A cropper with the long throw in. Came off Gorman and Cook kicked it in, and then it's turned in. Pritchard. Barnet find themselves with two goals. Just see on the edge of the box, Claydon is beaten in the end, and they just manage to keep it alive. Cook doesn't quite get to the second challenge. Gorman on the edge of the box there, reacting, wins that header, that keeps it going. It's a tidy finish there from Pritchard. It goes through Barker's legs into that bottom corner. He's a player who started every one of their games this season. Pritchard. And on Derby Day, the Bees, two goals to the good. Is a massive achievement from them, considering the clubs they're going to probably end up finishing above. As we've heaped praise on them throughout this game and probably haven't just seen the best of them, which I think they'll be slightly disappointed about. But I have to say for Barnet Adam, and I think the more pleasing thing for them is keeping that clean sheet and just winning uglies, just sometimes finding a way of winning, especially away from home. Sabiro with the cross, well taken by Laurie Walker. And it's been a good afternoon's work for Barnet in this derby. Yeah, they've got the job done. It's always a tricky game on paper to come into. That little bit of momentum that they kind of need now to go into these playoffs. Really significant victory for Dean Brennan against his former club.